Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to create this stunning isometric picture effect right in PowerPoint. So like usual, let's jump right into it to learn how to do it. So all you need to do is open up a new presentation in PowerPoint and then change the layout to blank. So our first step will be to import your pictures from either File Explorer or Stock Images in PowerPoint. So I've just got it on my clipboard and I'm just going to control that V that all those stock footage in. So I got this from PowerPoint if you're wondering. If you have it in a file, just open up your file explorer into the folder and just drag all those images right into PowerPoint. So next, the next step will be to add the formatting to one of the pictures. So we're just going to format it to look like the isometric that I showed you at the beginning. So all you need to do is select the top one, which is going to be this bird here. I mean like the one that's at the front because that'll be easy to work with. Go picture format, picture effects, go 3D rotation, 3D rotation options. This will open up a format picture tab over here and we're going to change the presets under 3D rotation to isometric top up which is, if you didn't catch that, the third one in the parallel section. We're now going to add a shadow to this and it's going to be the first preset here and then you can see that we're also going to change the distance from the ground in the 3D rotation to 10 so that it's just a bit above the shadow and it's creating this um, this effect that it's lifted up off the ground. So we're going to change some of the options here from the transparency to 40% and the blur to 10. So that'll create it, make it look a bit more realistic, which looks very nice. Now the third step will be to copy this formatting across the other pictures. So we're going to use a quick shortcut key, which is Control Shift C, which will copy that formatting, and then we can just box select all of the pictures including that one it doesn't really matter and then just go Control shift v and now you will wait until powerpoint has decided to work and it actually has done it quite quickly this time and we've got all these pictures in this nice isometric plane so now for the final step step four will be to create a nice panel of isometric pictures there's a few different ways you can do this i'm going to show you my favorite way and then you can play around with it if you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep all the pictures relatively the same size. We can actually crop them to be the same size if we want to, but we don't need to do that right now. So we're just going to make it so that it's like a panel, as I said. So we're going to have it almost like brickwork. If you've ever seen brickwork, you'll know that it's a bit like we've got one above and then one intersecting that one. So it'll be, you'll see what I mean. So here you can see this is sort of intersecting it. It's a bit... Um, what would you call it a bit layered over that so you can see it's like this and then we're just going to layer that up and then this can go on for the whole slide if you wanted to obviously my pictures are a bit big obviously you can size it down but what you want to make sure almost is that let me just draw a line in PowerPoint that this line is relatively equal over here from from the top shape to the bottom shape it doesn't really need, need to be perfect you can just use it by eye and you can see it's starting to look really really nice so you just need to do it really by eye and then you can really open up the slideshow so that you can see the entire slide to see how it will look and you just need to fill up the good spaces over here and you can always add in more images but all I'm going to do really is just copy an image over here which will just be over here and then copy maybe this one over here so you can see that fills up the entire slide making it look like a really really nice slide deck you can also do this with slides yourself and you can learn how to export your slides into images with this video up in the top right hand corner so you might have noticed that if i play my previous one um we've got the it being actually animated to come up into it like this isometric paneling um, which looks really nice I'll play that again to you and if you want to learn how to do that just comment below can we please learn how to do the animation effect in a future video and I will be sure to follow up on that if it gets enough comments and likes underneath this video so this is how you create your isometric paneling in PowerPoint thank you for watching and check out this video to learn five features in PowerPoint that you might not know about make sure to check out that video and I'll see you next time